welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about display. A lot of people ask me how I display my comics, how do I do my uh, CGC wall behind me. I have some raw books display in my office and I actually have a few other things out there to share with you guys about displaying your comics, whether it be raw or CGC slabbed whatever you guys want. But before we get started into this video, guys, like always, I'm gonna ask you if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, I want you to do me a favor, go ahead and click the subscribe button for me because it really does help the channel out. I want you to smash that like button on the way out as well and turn on the notification bell because it lets you guys know when I post new videos. With that said, if you haven't checked out my website, mightycollects.com, do me a favor, check it out. I have some awesome merch for sale. All right, so we're talking display, right? The first thing we're gonna go over is actually the big CGC wall behind me, and then we'll get into a couple other ones that I wanna show you guys. First, we're gonna start with these floating shelves that I picked up from Amazon. I will drop links in the description of this video of everything that I go over here today. But I wanted to start with this CGC slab wall first because I do think that's the most questions I get from everybody out there in the community. So these are purchased off of Amazon. They're about 24 inches long, I believe, almost two feet or at two feet. And I actually just kind of done them side by side to create, you know, a nice long 48 inch, you know, shelving unit. They come with two screw holes, as you guys can see. Um, they actually hold pretty well. I don't have anchors in them. So as long as your sheetrock is not messed up, they should go in nice and easy. You will need a level to make sure they are you know, perfectly straight, so you guys are not, books are not lopsided, or anything like that, but other than that, they really look great. What I decided to do was um, actually stagger my books. You can kind of see I could fit up to eight staggered with um, only part of the cover showing. Uh, I find that to be most beneficial because I get to store a lot of slabs, but you can actually, if you wanted to fit them straight across, you actually can fit five with a little bit of room on each side. I actually not crazy about the way this looks, but if you're into looking at the entire slab, I think that's the way to go. You can also slightly stagger the books like this and actually see most of the front covers. I actually think this looks really well. It's just probably going to get you only about six slabs on this shelf. But again, if you don't have a ton of slabs that you want to display, this actually works great. One other thing I wanted to mention to you guys was you can actually, if you have a lot of wall space, you can actually put these things side by side and keep going all the way down the wall. I don't actually have a lot of space. The one thing I chose to do was actually you do an entire slab wall because I thought it actually looked really cool instead of just going straight across. I actually don't have the room as well to keep going. As you can see, it's kind of a small area that I'm working in here. But to create actual slab wall, maybe about anywhere from eight to six books on each shelving unit. I actually have five here pictured. You can actually get quite amount of slabs on this. And I actually think it just looks great to have a wall of books behind me when I do videos. So that's part of the reason why I do it. But either way, solid buy from Amazon. Like I said, I'll drop the link in the description. All right, guys, so the next thing we're gonna talk about right now are slab stands. And I'm sure most of you out there in the comic collecting community are familiar with them. But for those that who are not, all this thing really is is a block of wood that kind of allows you to display your most prized comics, CGC comics, in an upright direction. I know they have raw slab stands as well. I do not possess any of them. But regardless, this thing actually looks great. I think this red Amazing Fantasy uh, block really brings out the yellows of the CGC signature. So it actually, I'm very, very pleased with it because yellow is actually quite, you know, match very well with the amazing fantasy on the book and actually on the slab stand itself. The one thing I will say to you guys is if you come check around the back and I'm gonna walk around the side of this thing, is that the only thing holding this book up is actually the wood itself, but then there's like a black plastic thing that's actually gets stuck between the book and the wood block itself that actually keeps the book upright. It is not really, I would say very secure standing up. If you kind of leave the book there and not touch it and not take it out in and out, you'll probably just be fine. But for a person like me who likes to switch things out, change up stuff, you know, it might not be your display type. But again, if you want to, you know, display a singular book, I actually think it looks fantastic. If you can match up the correct design with the correct book, it, you know, I think I did a great job with this one. It just looks perfect. If you guys want to check out Slab Sands, I did do a review on them a, a while back in one of my videos. I'll try to drop a link at the end of this video for you. If not, I will get you a link in the description of this video. 
Ah, uh, yes, the raw books, right? You guys don't always get to see this display because I rarely show it on camera when I'm filming videos, but this is one of my most prized possessions when it comes to uh, my comics, my raw wall. I think this is a really economical way of displaying raw books. It actually protects them as well. I've looked into a lot of different ways of displaying them, and I gotta be honest, this is probably the best way. You have to be very careful because sometimes when you display a raw book, you can actually crease the book, you can actually create swine ticks. Laying them flat, laying them at an angle like this, it really helps them kind of stay balanced, stay on their back, and not have to worry about any you know, creases, ticks, any stuff like that. I'm gonna pull all these books down and I'm gonna show you guys how exactly I did this and where I got this stuff. As usual, I'll have all the links in the description and I'll show you some pics along the way as well. All right, so this is the shelving unit that I picked up from Home Depot, right? Now you can get this thing cut to any size that you want or you can just take what they have available. It comes in various different sizes. So if you're comfortable with the size that they have, all you have to do is pick them up, put in your car, and then you can start installing them. Um, let me try to show you guys what exactly it does so you as you can see this thing rotates up right it's it's not flat against the wall i actually have a little base that i picked up from home depot as well and it just rests right against that thing preventing the books from flying down from flopping a lot of these guys use these things at conventions so you'll see them you know along the same type of lines but the brackets up at the top let me see if i can zoom in for you guys as you can see, those little white brackets I was actually able to pick up from Home Depot as well. And all they do is screw right into the wall. But it does give you a nice, you know, bracket to hold this shelving up there. I only have two of them, one on the left and one all the way down there on the right. It holds very well. And then you can see I have that um, base in the middle that kind of propels the books forward. So they're not just hanging flat where they would kind of fly off the wall. But again, a very easy to do setup, very inexpensive. I have a total of three of them, as you can see, installed in my comic room slash office. I use them for figures, carded figures. I use them for raw comics as well. I used to have less books on here, and you can see the whole covers, but I prefer having a lot of them on display because while I can't see all the covers, I'm able to display most of my most prized possessions. And a lot of them are raw books. I love Amazing Spider-Man books. Those are my favorites. So I have a lot of them up here. And I do think it's a great way, especially if you want to do a whole wall. These are three shelving units. You could probably could have gone the whole way down if I didn't have all this stuff in this room as well. But I think it would have looked fantastic, like a huge showroom wall to have in your own space if you have the space to do it, right? That's the key. If you have space to do it, then this is a great way to kind of display your books. So the last thing we're going to talk about in this video, guys, is actually these little plastic display stands we can get from Michaels. So anybody who isn't familiar with Michaels, it is a craft store. I know they have them by me in the Northeast, and I'm assuming it's countrywide. But if you don't, Google it, and maybe someone has something similar in your area. But regardless, these little plastic display stands are, I think, less than $5 each, and they really can be used for CGC, CBCS, PGX, all slabs. And, of course, you can use them for raw books, too. Uh, you just have to be a little bit careful that you're not too... Um, you know hard with them all they do is kind of like sit here rest here but they do do a nice job of displaying books these things have probably been around since the beginning of uh displaying comics i've seen a lot of guys early on in youtube use these things to display their books now they fit on shelves they fit in cabinets they fit anywhere you want to use them that have flat surfaces where there's enough room to actually fit the plastic stand right so these are the easiest things and probably the most economical if you just want to display them on a cabinet like i said on a desk stuff like that they're very easy and very cheap to do. But with that said, guys, these are all the ways that I display books kind of in my office where you saw the CGC, you know, CBCS wall behind me. You saw my raw wall. You see some of the slab stands that I've used in the, uh, the case back there. And of course, you have a couple of these little things in the room around me. With that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will have links to everything that I used in the description of this video. A lot of the stuff you can get from Home Depot. Um, Amazon, stuff like that. So delivered right to your door if you would like. With that said, this is Lawrence over at Mighty Commons and Collectibles saying thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.